what's going on guys this is me Ron and welcome to the new video tutorial in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to generate and send OTP that is one time password using Java first of all let's understand what is OTP in simple word OTP is a unique code either alphanumeric means the combination of letters and number or numeric means only number send directly to the user phone number as a message while they try to log in or sign up with an application. In case of login, the OTP is used to verify whether the user who try to access an account is the right person or someone else try to access their account. So when he or she try to log in, a piece of code is sent to the user phone number that they set in their profile. In this way, someone else could not access to the user account. Now, in case of sign up, the OTP is sent to verify whether the user is real one in the sense that in general every user have only one phone so one user can have only one account in an application or the one who try to sign up is fraud one. So being a developer you have to do it using programming. And I thought I should make one video about it so most of the student will learn and integrate it in their project. Now to send OTP SMS using programming we need to choose SMS gateway provider. Our application send a message to the SMS gateway and they forward that message to the telecommunication of the number that is entered by user. So SMS gateway act as interface between application and telecommunication. Now without any explanation let's move into the practical session. First of all, we are going to choose any SMS gateway provider. There are a number of SMS gateway provider like Verizon, AT&T, but we are going to use TXT local as our SMS gateway provider. So the first task is to create an account in TXT local. So open up any browser, go to txtlocal.co.uk, then click on sign up and then scroll down. You need to provide your name and then your email address and then click on sign up sign up successfully txt local uh, will send you on verification email in your email inbox so check your email inbox there you go open that link and then click that link you need to give some of your information address and then town country postal code your telephone and then password and then your default sender name Click that SF terms and condition checkbox and click on active my account. Now go to setting, click on API key. We need to generate one API key and then click on create new key and then save new key. We will use this API key in our program. Now go to integration and then click on SMS API and then click on API documentation. Now click on send SMS, again click on send SMS and from here you need to choose Java and there is two methods that is either post method or get method whatever method you want to use you can use now open up uh, NetBean ID go to file click on new and then click Java and then Java application and then click next give the name of the project and then click on finish now right click over OTP click on new and then click on JFORM JFRAME form you can either give the name of the class name or leave as it is and then click on finish now we are going to create a simple UI 
now drag and drop three levels from the palette over the form and similarly three text field and then two button now it is the property of its control here goes name here goes phone number because we are going to send the OTP message to the user phone number and here goes verify OTP we need to verify OTP if we do not validate OTP they can enter any number as OTP to access the application and if they enter exact same OTP they get access to the application so we need to verify OTP now expand this text a little bit and right click change the variable name here goes txt name and here goes txt phone here goes txt verify otp right click edit text delete that text right click this button and change the text to login i am using this otp method in the case of login but you can use this method in case of signing up here goes verify now double click this login button and go back to api documentation and from here try block copy this code and paste inside the clicking event of this login button again go back to api documentation copy these classes because we need to import these classes in our application and inside this package paste now here you need to provide your api key so go back to your api key and copy your api key that we recently created and paste over here here uh, we need to send the otp message to the user so we need to generate random number to generate a random number we have random classes in java to consume class and its method first of all we should import it then after we can consume it so first of all let me import it import java dot dot random now here random rand is equal to new random now we need to store uh, the generator random number in some variable so first of all let me define one variable inside the class global variable int otp and i am going to store that generator random number in this variable otp is equal to rand dot next int and here goes the range this will give value from 0 to 999999 now here we need to take the input from the user the name of the user so a string name is equal to txt name dot get text and here goes the message to the user so here hey name of the user so name your otp is here goes otp and here is the sender name our sender name we need to give our default sender name 
that we set while signing up with txt local so here goes tsn and we need to take the input from the user so here goes txt phone dot get text now here press all plus enter and import all file and you scroll down here we need to display the message to the user so here j option pan dot so message dialog here goes null and here you can display the message to the user otp send success fully here this is the j form application so we need to display the message dialog so here j option pan dot so message dialog here goes null and again here j option pan dot so message dialog null error and now go back to the design and here in this text field when the user enter otp and click verify button we need to check whether the user input otp is exactly same as the otp that we send to the user phone number or not so for this we need to write the logic inside the clicking event of verify button so double click verify button and here if first of all when the user enter um, otp in the text field the user input value is in text form so we need to convert it into the integer so integer dot parse int txt verify otp dot get text is equal to otp what we need to do we need to display the message to the user saying that son pan dot so message dialog you are login successfully successfully or else what we need to display we need to display the message to the user saying that otp is wrong so save it right click over it and run the file here enter the name here enter the phone number with your country code and click on login otp sent successfully now let's check whether that message is received in my phone or not so let me connect uh, this pc with my phone there you can see there is one message received in my phone let's open it hey tech support nef your otp is 134602 now enter that code over here and click on verify you are logging successfully if you enter uh, other number you will get the error wrong otp here you can do one more thing when the user enter correct otp and click on verify you can uh, close this form and move the user to the next form so for this right click over here your new form like form and here inside this code 
what you can do is this dot set visible to false and new home dot set visible to true so when the user enter correct otp and click on verify this new form that is home will open so that's it in this video tutorial guys if you like this video share this video with your friends so that they can know about this helpful tutorial give thumbs up which really motivates us to make such programming video and stay connected with this channel in order to stay connected with this channel subscribe this channel and don't forget to press that bell icon so that you will get notification when i upload new video and thank you once again for watching this video have a good day